Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and a while ago, I made a video talking about some possible anniversary skin ideas. And in that video, I asked you guys to comment down below uh, some ideas that you would love to see come to life in the form of a skin for some of our favorite heroes. And I got a lot of great ideas for skins that, in reality, probably won't be released for this anniversary event because there's actually a leak, a, <laughs> a quote unquote leak, that the anniversary event will actually drop tomorrow, like on May 12th, depending on when you're watching this. And it was all from this Reddit post from Bloomer Overwatch, where it literally just said a patch is gonna go live with the anniversary event. I don't use Reddit, so I don't really know how reliable this source or this leaker is. But you know what? It really doesn't matter because whether the anniversary event comes out tomorrow or when I predicted next week, we're gonna be playing it because it's not like we have anything or anyone to do. <laughs> Uh, so anniversary skins, let's talk about them. Like I said before, lots of skin ideas were given in the comments of that video, but like the highest rated comments were skin ideas of skins that I've already talked about, either in a previous anniversary skin idea video or just in another video talking about skins like Magician Genji or Wizard Mora or Disco Lucio. You know, some very popular skins that already have concept art that look phenomenal where lots of people would love to see those skins come into the game rather than just repeating those skin ideas over and over again, hoping that Blizzard brings those specific skins into the game, it got me thinking of a possible event that Blizzard can make for either Overwatch or Overwatch 2, where it's a fan-made event, where the cosmetic items, more importantly the skins, are brought to you by the fan artists of the Overwatch community. I really do like this idea because there are endless amounts of skin concept art out there, and I'm sure the artists that make these skin concepts would love to have their art be made into an actual skin. Of course, with like credit to the original artist and really this is just a win-win situation for everyone it's a win situation for blizzard because they get countless of great ideas for possible skins that they know people would like and they don't have to work hard <laughs> to come up with a good idea that some people might not like and it's a win situation for the overwatch artists that make these fan skins because their skin actually gets made into the game and it promotes possible other artwork and possibly gets them a job with blizzard really this is just it's such a good idea that I don't know why Blizzard isn't doing this more often. But until that happens, we're just gonna have to stick to concept art and skin ideas that you left in the form of comments from my previous video. And one of the ideas that you guys left is a skin that I absolutely love, not only because it's a Genji skin, and I always love me a Genji skin, but I love this one specifically because it is a chef Genji skin. Of course, being the number one chef in the online gaming community, I give this my seal of approval for being a top quality chef skin and something that we absolutely need in the game. The only thing that is somewhat close to a chef skin is like a honey dume, but that's not even a chef skin, that's a waitress skin. That's like in the front of the kitchen. Nah, I want the hardworking, sweat on his head and balls type chef skin. Plus, this is a skin idea that I absolutely love where they take assets from an already established hero, in this case Genji, and take assets from the idea, or in this case it's a chef, and mix them together, where they're taking Genji's sword but making it like a big old samurai knife or or cutting blade to cut sushi. Plus this is like a, a samurai sushi type chef where he has that traditional Japanese headband. This might be very, very cliche, but it's that cliche that I think most people would really like. Plus it puts Genji in some normal clothes, which I don't think he has enough of. It's always armor or his left titty out or wires going into his body. You know, you can wear normal clothes, Blizzard. You realize this, right? But stepping away from the YouTube comments momentarily, I want to talk about a Mercy skin because it's well known by this point that Mercy still doesn't have an anniversary skin and it was actually confirmed by Jeff Kaplan himself that Mercy is gonna be getting a skin soon. Very, very, very soon. So what kind of light or dark skin could she possibly receive? Well, why not dark Mercy? The skin concept is... <laughs> Such a beautiful take of an evil Mercy skin. Besides Devil and Imp, we only have wholesome or beautiful Mercy skins. And while Dark Mercy definitely has that beautiful taste to it, just in a weird satanic sort of way, I think it's that evil side that I think needs to be portrayed a little bit more often whenever it comes to Mercy skins. Again, it's kind of overdone when it comes to the wholesomeness, which I, I always love because Mercy is supposed to be a wholesome character, but come on now, a lot of the skins that Mercy have 
kind of assume that you have a soul yourself because Mercy has a soul and we all know that Mercy Main's soul left their body a long time ago from the countless times that these players are asking for heals. Mercy Mains, I'm sorry, that's on me. Going back to the common ideas, once again, we have a skin concept that I absolutely love because it's taking assets from Zarya and taking assets from an iconic figure and mixing it into something that everyone would understand and it fits the hero Zarya. And what I'm talking about is a we can do it Zarya skin. So this is a very famous and iconic poster made back in World War II to help symbolize that strong women can help fight in the war efforts too, even though they weren't allowed to go fight in war because back in World War II, women weren't allowed to join the army to help out in the war efforts. So this slowly became a feminist icon to show that, hey, women can do a good job just as well as a man can do whenever it comes to anything. We can do it. And of course, replacing the woman on this poster is none other than the physically strongest woman in Overwatch, Zarya. While the idea of the We Can Do a poster is not to only show how strong a woman can be physically, but also mentally and emotionally, just the look of the skin is perfect for Zarya because the girl is showing off her muscles in the poster and Zarya is this big, strong, brolic weightlifter. That's why this skin is perfect for Zarya. It's literally a match made in heaven where it's not much of a thinker skin. Now, if you don't recall or understand the origins of the poster, then you're probably gonna see Zarya with a sleeveless shirt and a polka dot bandana and be like, wait, wait, that, that's such a boring skin. Why would they do that? But then if you actually educate yourself and understand the origins, you'd be like, oh, psh, that is perfect. That is so iconic, Blizzard. I love what you're doing. You get a big, massive dub. But if Blizzard doesn't want to give themselves a dub by making a surefire, well-made skin, then they have to give a skin for the brand new hero, Echo. Now, once again, stepping away from the comments, I took to the internet and looked for some fan-made skins for Echo, and there's not a lot. There really isn't. But I found one that would be... I don't know if it would be really, really good or overdone at this point. And it's a flower Echo skin. Now, don't get me wrong. This is a beautiful skin for Echo. But the reason why I'm saying it might be overdoing it is that we already have two nature skins in the form of Butterfly and Moth. But the reason why I also like this idea is that Butterflies and Moths feed off of flowers. I think. I know Butterflies do, but do Moths feed off a light of Do Moths feed off a light of flowers? Either way, this is a very beautiful skin. Skin, but it might be oversaturating the nature skin market, especially for just one hero. Going back to the comments section, we have a Torbjorn skin. Now, Torbjorn really doesn't have a lot of good skins. Torbjorn doesn't have any good skins, so we need some more iconic skins, especially one that fits his personality, his short, stubby personality. And there was one comment that brought this idea to life that when I saw it, it's like, yes, why haven't this been made already? This is a gnome Torbjorn skin. So gnomes are always made up to be this fictional creature in fairy tales up until Keemstar was actually born, but they're also iconic seen on like lawns. And that's about all that I know when it comes to gnome lore. <laughs> but once again, the reason why this is iconic for Torbjorn specifically is that nobody else can be a gnome because nobody else can be a dwarf. Even though he's not a dwarf, He's a dwarf. But now we can officially call him a gnome. And just imagine all the roast coming from other heroes from either Roadhog or, or Widowmaker or Tracer, just making fun of his attire and his just short stubby legs. Oh, it's so cute. That's why I love it. It's cute and it fits his personality, which is being short, which is like half of the TikTok girls. But the last and final skin idea that does not come from the comments section, but in fact comes from an artist on Instagram is a Widowmaker skin. Now I know last episode I also had another Widowmaker skin idea but this one was just too good to pass up but this is a workout Widowmaker skin <laughs> I think I, I think you know why I want this skin. Oh, but bro, you act, we already have a workout skin in the form of 80s. All right, yeah, we also have four pirate skins. I want to see more heroes in spandex. Is that too much to ask for? I'm sorry, but I want to see more booty. This totally goes against everything that I said in this video because Widowmaker doesn't really seem like that hero to like work out a lot of the times. She just looks like one of those heroes that is just naturally thick. She eats Hot Pockets, she eats a bunch of pasta, but just has that big big old booty. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong here, but she just doesn't
doesn't seem like that type of girl. She seems too sassy to build up a sweat. Meanwhile, there's someone like May where she's having to go work out three to four times a week and only lose about two pounds and then cry herself to sleep after eating a whole tub of ice cream. But Widowmaker, all she gotta do is just walk to Starbucks and she's already skinny for the day. It's unfair. But guys, those were some anniversary skin ideas for either this anniversary event, I doubt it, but for next anniversary event. But what I really want to see Blizzard do is bring that fan made event. Like it would really just be a great time to be an Overwatch fan because you know that your art is being recognized by a big time company. Blizzard is a huge company so to really reach out to some of the little artists out there and get some exposure for them I think would be doing a big service to not only the Overwatch community but just the whole entire video game community to show that hey your concept art really means something and we're taking inspiration literally because we're putting the skins in the video game but until then I hope at least one of these skins come into the game especially that Zarya skin because that is such a great idea but until then and until the anniversary event comes out we only have these skin ideas but I love you guys thank you guys for watching more Overwatch videos to come and bye